Rock Club Foundation. We are here. Uh, we are fixing the AR. As you see, we got already got it kind of torn apart a little bit, but not too much. I guess this is their, their filter house and the air thing. I'm trying to get the coolant reservoir out of the car, so and it was be, be coming a little bit of of a oh deal. So, um, so now we are working on that. We're going to be working on that for a little while. We got a pipe store across the street. They didn't want to walk in the parking lot. I asked these people over here if they would, don't mind. They say, don't mind. We over here just grab a parking lot. Um, so we are working on the car. Everybody, you know, and subscribe. And, and uh, let's get working on the car. Why don't you grab your phone so I can keep Hi. track of the comments because it's right up there and I have a hard time seeing the comments. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to the slice stream, Jenny. Both. Um, so here we are. Okay, so we're going to, uh, uh, we got the flyers that we just bought. I just had to buy any new flyers. I don't have flyers. I can't believe Oh, it's these colors? Okay. Put it up. Why don't you mention her and tell her that we are in the middle of a live stream? So, basically, let me see if I can, how about I bring you guys a little closer so you guys actually see what's going on. Um, so, basically, so this is why I'm trying to get out, and I couldn't get it out because of this filter. This is the whole top of the engine is the air filter housing, and it pretty much pops off, like, off the engine. Pretty simple, you just grab it and pop it off. But you got to be careful because, uh, you know, you got to make sure that this part is removed first. So you got to, we, in, in which it, it have been torn before and it been torn again because I didn't realize I have to take this piece off before. Um, but, you know, they just tape it back together. Hey, Eric. Hey, hey Michelle. Did not supposed to be pop off like that yeah yeah so um can but we gotta so we gotta unscrew that bolt right there take this off and then take that off or maybe we just hold it up like that because we just got to get out of the way so we can actually see like Okay, yeah. So. You gotta get the car fixed somehow, some way. I wish we could hire a mechanic, but we don't have no money. So this is a DIY fix it yourself type situation that we are getting got ourselves into. And of course, you know, I, it's not that big a deal. I'm not asking anybody for anything. I don't want to come off as a bum or a bagel. You know? That's why I'm just doing it myself, taking care of it myself. Okay. okay. So we're going to try to take this off just so I can get the coolant reservoir out. And this thing is so hard because
And this is air, some hose for an engine breathe for some reason. It's going to air filter. So, there we go. So then we gotta take this off. All right, go get a screwdriver. A screwdriver? Yeah. Where would one it, be? I, I'll get it. It's, the tools, all the tools are over here, maybe. Are, are you keeping a track of the comments and what people are saying? Oh, yes. I think you totaled the engine. No, we didn't total the engine. I don't know, her people just say stupid stuff. Yeah, well, we tried to fix it before we tore the engine. So, if... We're in Ashland, Oregon. Um... Where is... Where's the other part of this? Alright, what else are people saying? Anything? It's not stupid. Oh, what kind of car is this? It's HHR. It's in the. It's literally in the title. I don't really think there's anything for me to help with. Well, you can just. Well, you. This person is asking it why I'm not helping you unscrew or fix anything. He's helping, so you help him by How am the I? comments. I'm just having a hard time living, I guess. I'm just trying to, uh, I try. I was trying to sell my poetry books to some people yesterday, but I didn't sell any. And then I want to make a poetry video. I'm working on my mermaid fins, but I lost my sewing bag, so I don't know where it is. Maybe just somewhere lost in the car. Um, did we really have this problem before we left? Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't this bad. Oh, okay. It says it, it got worse. It got worse. We had, we had a coolant reservoir was leaking before, but I didn't think it was going to be a big issue until we left and we were driving a lot. And the, um, and then it become a bigger issue that, you know, I didn't think it was going to be an issue. But then it did become an issue. Okay, and then. Oh, it's holding on somewhere else. So now we can ask to get this reservoir out. What? Why is it holding on? What's it holding on to now? Okay. <laughs> Give me the water bottle out of the car. Yeah, sure. And we're gonna try to figure out what leaking here. Alright, uh, so here's Alright, finally we got the coolant reservoir out of the car that took all freaking every You mean the water jug? Yes, the lot the jug, Michelle. We need like a lot of water. Okay. Okay, thank you. Alright, so come over here, come up back up, back up, come over here. So big we can see. Alright, so now fill this up 
with water. Let's see where it's leaking. Come on, let's go. More, 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 more. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. A little bit right here. Oh, give me the pliers. Pliers? I already got the pliers. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take the pliers off. I'm going to move this up. Like here. And then I'm going to screw this down on this a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm going to... Uh, Okay, push it more down on here. Okay. And then... Yeah, sometimes they hold water and sometimes it doesn't want to hold water. You know? This car really needs a car wash. Yeah. Can we somehow wash the car? How is Michelle not cool cooking? What? Because we're fixing the car right now, all right? What did someone say? Why are you not cooking? Because I'm not cooking. I don't cook all the time. Yeah, you do. You know, maybe, what is it? The radiator is clogged, making it overheat. Does the radiator have a hole in it? The radiator don't have a hole. This thing but where it was leaking, right here. And what did you say? I think you should just leave it on the side of the road. Have you ever tried what? Adrenochrome? What's that? What is it? Say? Needs more blinker fluid. Okay. People, thank you. All right. What's a adrenochrome? All right. Hey, will you go? Will you go find some more water, Michelle? Why don't you go across the street and find some more water? We're going to need it. Um. So yeah, see, the reason that we're having this problem is because the reservoir is, uh, what happening is is the reservoir get the the engine get really hot because it's really hot outside and then then all the oil, and then all the water boil off and then it goes in this reservoir this reservoir leaks and then it leaks out all the all the coolant and then um and then uh
All right, so. So at least we got it now in the right location. Um, so now we actually have the car too old for that, that this this trip. All right, this There we go. All right, then put the coolant back on here. And wind this out a little bit. Now we got Okay. All right. Give me a minute. Get me done with this part. Done. Okay. All right, now pour the water in there. Okay, there it goes. So I only took a half a gallon. That's good. It was not too bad. Okay, good. All right. thing back up and then we gotta put this hose back on. Look for some duct tape. Duct tape? I don't know where that is. We should have duct tape. Where would it be? Uh, we've been is you using in the front of the car we've been using it as a cup holder. Oh okay maybe I know where it is. We're gonna need it to tape this thing back together. <coughs>
All right, good. Let me get this thing back together, then you can duct tape it back together, okay? All right, cool. Thank you for getting it started for me. And then there's clips in the back. You gotta, there it goes. You just kind of push it in. The seeds in the clips. There we go. And then, gotta duct tape this all back together. Yeah, you wanna start duct taping this back together, Michelle? You might be good at that. Oh yeah, why? Because you're good at stuff like fixing things. How? I don't know, you're always fixing your artwork and stuff. Just fix this, duct tape it all back together. Alright, I'm gonna... So this big hole is just duct tape it back together. Wait, duct tape where? The hole is back together. Oh. That's just the air inlet hole from the... Uh, go from the outside of the car into the air filter. That's all that is. But, I mean, it might be important, so we should try to salvage it, okay? Nice you think we can buy a new one. Yeah, someone said maybe you should just buy a new one. All right, I must want to buy a new one of these. All right, let's just buy a new one of these. Come off How much does it cost? I don't know, $100. This is? I don't fucking know. Do you think it's going to work by duct taping it? Maybe. But, yeah. Eric, really, how do you think this is going to work? It might, it might seep out a little. Well, it, it doesn't matter. It's just through the pipe. It just, it, it not, it like, it's not a critical thing. It's just taking air from outside the car. Oh, air? Yeah, it's all, it, it's, it, it's go to the air breather. Okay, because if it was liquid... No, it's not liquid, it's the air... Yeah, it's the air intake. It all, it's all... again, why would liquid go through something that is that material? I yeah, know. yeah, I know. No, it's just for... It's just for air. It's just for air. It's an air breather pipe. Hmm. Well, maybe. It's a snorkel. Know. That's all it is. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Is, I mean, is that, that all it is? Is like a snorkel thing. I mean, I can bring it over there and see how much they want for a new one. Just to see. Um, yeah, I think we should just try to get a new one. Yeah. Even though we don't really have a lot of money. Or you guess you can try to tape it back together. Well, where's the scissors? Um, in my pocket. You want me to try to get them to you? Yes, it would be helpful. You need to buy a new hose. Well, you guys donate the money, I'll buy a new hose. How about that? And I go buy some more uh, and some antifreeze. Oh, you ran out? No, we should put some antifreeze in it though. Instead of just water. Are you doing a good job fixing that hose, Michelle? And then after you fix the uh, cover the whole whole thing with duct tape. Yeah.
Yeah, the donate is in is links in the description, people, and also ne right next to the chat window, there's a dollar sign. You can click on that to make a donation. Why don't you cut some off before you like, you know, all right, it's good, I guess it works. Yes, it does. This is a way to measure it. Okay, see, so you, you, you've been, you do sewing and stuff, okay. Yes, I have to be like mechanical when I sew. I don't even use a pattern. I have to figure it out. All right, so can you, can you just wrap it, wrap the whole hose with, with tape now? Like start um, right here and wrap the whole hose with tape. Really? Yeah, just to make sure it stays together. Oh. You want me to help you hold it or something? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let me hold it. Help you? No, no, no. I want you to start at the beginning. Okay. Really? Yeah, yeah. Here, you want me to help you hold it here? Yeah. See? Yeah. Just. Yeah, see, that's why I want you to start from the beginning. Well, yeah, like, but does that, does air really, is really, is air going to really displace it? Will you, here, cut, will you cut it with a scissor? Don't pull it, cut it. Okay, here, start from the beginning, like right, right here. All the way from the beginning, like I told you. You started from the beginning, that, that accident did not uh, happen. Okay, that's why I want you to tape the whole thing. Okay. Helping me. They were saying. They're complaining about how you didn't fix the car before you left. Well, I thought we the car was was running okay. We had it checked out by that one person on the way to my friends. You mean? Yeah, we fixed. Did they did they look at things like this? Eric. And all the mechanics in Seattle are super expensive. And 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 our town too. Yeah. So I guess Seattle and surrounding area. Yes.
I don't know. Someone's asking if uh, you packed all your tools you bought in the last year and a half. I think so. Yeah, I bought all the tools that I packed. Um, yep, they all. Jennifer says if you tape the whole thing, it might not be flexible enough to fit back where it was. Um, I don't know. You should try and see if that's the case. Reminds me of an astronaut now. Outer space. There you go. Fixed. Oh, fixed, people. It's fixed. It's all fixed, people. All right, so we should go get some ethanol glycol uh, antifree stuff. What's ethanol glycol? It's the antibin green and the antifreeze. Well, is that like supposed to be some fun term for it or something? Yeah, that's the fancy dumb for it. Uh-huh. Now let's clean up our tools. Put all the tools away. Oh. Tool bag right here. This is all my tools that I got. I keep them all in this bag right here. Right here. And then and then I keep some a lot of stuff in this little cap thing right here. And I put this in there too. And then I zip it a zippity doo da. Zippity day. Okay, oh, we got this part piece. You see what I... Alright. And then zip, zip, zip. Alright, cool. Alright, don't spill our mess. What are you doing? Uh. Tape. Oh. <laughs> oh yes, Joey. Yeah, maybe. He might have been a little bit of a car knowledgeable person. I don't know, just knowing something about him. Alright, so Let's go get ethanol glycol, people. Everybody hit thumbs up for ethanol glycol. Uh, how many thumbs up do you got? Four. All right. If we, if we get to uh, ten, 10 likes, I'll buy some ethanol glycol because it's great. But I want to see if the thing actually uh not leak anymore before I have to buy some ethanol glycol because I don't want to be wasting my money. So that's, we're gonna fill it. We're gonna fill up it and we're gonna fill up this and we're gonna to try to make sure. That
Nice hairy head there. Everyone just All loves right. it. Well, that's just out the uh, the overflow. Ooh, look down there, everyone. Ooh la la. All right, let's go. All right, I guess that's it. We got the car fixed. We did it ourselves, but we need to have to pay for that. Uh, give me the camera. I want to start the car for everybody. See, make sure the car runs. Yeah, like you always should do. After you fix any car, you should always start. And make sure you do a good job. Uh. Whoa! What was that? I'm setting on my coffee cup. Yeah, we should clean the car out so we can do a van tour. What did, what did the comment say? What did it say? Are you two still active members of Antifa? What's that? No, we don't even go to Black Lives Matter. We don't, you know, uh, we don't, we start, we are, we are trying to uh, not even cover it. And the only reason we went there in the past because we are making YouTube videos uh, documenting what's happening. So I can, so I can expose Antifa. Yes, that's what I was doing with Essie. Working hard to expose Antifa. Yes. See, without me, you guys would even know the true story, man. You know? What tools? What is it? Keep your tools close because... What is it? I guarantee you didn't fix the overheating problem. Yeah, I know. It might. We might actually need to do the thermostat. What did it say? Isn't that for overflow now it's going to explode? Where's my phone anyway? Do you have it? Yeah. See everyone, here's my mermaid phone. I don't know, I don't know. Wait, wait, what do you do with your phone? I didn't do anything with your phone. I don't know where my phone is. Well, you better go find it. You want me to call it? Yeah, call it. Well, I call it's right here. Oh, your hands are dirty. Well, yeah, I just got done washing the car. We gotta go wash my hands now. Um, what did it say? Thermostat or a clogged radiator? Um, yeah, I talked to one mechanic. He said that 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 he just think that. It, that is because I went in low on antifreeze. Oh, I had heart issues. I hope Eric didn't give me germitis with the heart this morning. No, it's fine. You probably just because it's really hot outside. Oh, okay. I just know you were putting utensils places that I don't know if they had any bad germs or anything. Well, that's why. I, I was trying to clean up though, at least. Well, that's why. I, you, that's why I make sure you do the dishes and I make sure I help you. Yeah, that's a lot. I, 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 I like doing it. I, I like um, cooking um, on our I put, uh, Yeah, I put the dishes away. You, you clean them and I put everything away. But you gotta, like, yeah, you gotta make sure they do the patchy, like, fine tuned cleaning because I'm never gonna get it clean good enough for you if, if I, you know, so yeah. All right, let's go look at the car. Let's go take a look at our handiworks, people.
Did I see? Did I see? Did I see something? I'm not sure. Alright, I'm going to tighten this up. Alright, tighten that up. Yep. I'm gonna tie this up more better. There's a leaking a little bit. The, the, the cap was leaking. Let me make sure to tighten that up. Okay. Well, actually, I'm the only person that replaced the radio, uh, the, the whole, uh, the overflow thing before. So, you know what? It is informational. Alright, so let's check out the, uh, let's check out the, uh, Uh, it's 180 degrees, so that's average. One eighty one. Yeah, of course the door is a joy. Okay. Well, it's actually not bad because we've been running the car for a while and it's actually cooler than it normally is. So. Yeah, I think we fixed the car. Yeah, we want to go. We want to fix my house up sooner or later. As soon as, uh, but I gotta make sure that people are not going causing me no more problems like they did. Drag their weight face down the highway. What did it say? Victory drag race down the highway. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, I'm not going. Can you guys come back to Detroit and fix your house? Who's that? Wait, who is that? I don't know. It was RJ. Is that that woman on the street? No, I think RJ is the guy that lived behind my house. Oh, really? This is. Oh, it, oh, this is Shorty. This is Shorty. Hey, Shorty. Oh, this is Shorty. Yeah, oh my God. Right. Wow. God, yeah. So, I don't know what's the deal with my house. And one guy, uh, one guy said he was going to fix it, but then even people think that he burned down TJ's house. Um. Bill, I know Bill from back. In the, I know Bill for a while. We friends are friends, and he, you know, um, the people I trust. Um, I haven't really hanged out with Bill too much, but I've been friends with him on Facebook for quite a while. Um, I'm glad. Because, yeah, he wanted to move into the Rock Club Foundation and start fixing it up. But I'm not sure. And then, and then, uh, and then Rob Burwin, you know, Rob, the the guy that over there 
that own the Universe Building and a bunch of other properties in the neighborhood. He lives on Decrendo Street. Uh, what is it? Decrendo Street? What is that street by my house? Maybe. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. And he wanted to buy my house because it was on the same street. It was on Decrendo and Omira. I'll have to look at what street he lives on. I think it's, yeah, I think it's been so long. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct. Right, but yeah. Um, yeah, and, um, yeah, he, he was wanting to buy half my house. He didn't want to buy the whole house. He wanted, he wanted to buy half the house. And it's like, okay. And then he wanted me to keep the other half. And then he was wanting to fix it up and went out in some rooms to give me half the rent money. And I'm told, like, the only way I can do that is, you know, you make sure I get able to buy back my house from you at one point, you know. And not over, and then and I'll also put a cap on the amount of work that you can do, get paid for, you know. So, he said he wanted to rent out half my house, so I don't know if he has to do with it. He just sent me a message yesterday, yesterday, I forgot to read through it. Um, a big long message. You can't, yeah, you can't trust anybody in Detroit. You can't trust anybody in Detroit. If I come back to Detroit, I better be packing a freaking gun and want every last person off my dang property. I'd be sitting up on my porch with a shotgun. <laughs> be like, I dare you to come up here and try to steal something from me. No, that's not how I want to live my life. Just sitting on my porch with a shotgun. Waiting for somebody to walk up, and that's... I don't know. And then I probably end up in jail because I pulled a gun on somebody. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, well, I've been trying to talk to you, man, about negotiating something for a bus, but he won't call me to talk to me about it. So... The city have been taking picture of your house. Oh wow, okay. How will you take some pictures of my house and send them to me? Cuz I want to see how my house is doing. Cuz I And keep in touch with me, man. Call me every once in a while. I sure you got my double. You need to figure out what we're gonna do about my house. Shit, I'll sell you my house. How much you give me for it? Fucking, I'm half crazy just to give this, tell the city they can have this shit. Have the freaking house back for free. You know, I don't know. Or maybe I come back with a shotgun and defend my property, but I end up going to jail. I don't. I don't even know. <laughs> In a walking chair and play the violin. Hell yeah. What? Well, the car is running good. It's only at 183 degrees. It's, it looked like the same, we still have. I don't have your number. No, I'll, I'll be calling. I'll, <laughs> you need to send me your number on Facebook. Eric the Goat Guy on Facebook. Send me your number. I don't have your number. I don't know what happened to it. Do you have Shorty's number? Um, yes, I think you told me actually to get her number a while ago. Well, if you can get me Shorty's number, I want to give her a call. Wait, why? Because he's, he's, he's one of the only friends I got in Detroit. Aw. Hey, Shorty! I don't we even... were going to go roller skating and then we didn't. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Eric, you haven't paid your 
bills that I saw that came in the mail. Hey, you see this number? What? Oh, you found it? Okay, we we'll text. Give, send that to me, okay? I, I I thought I asked it to you before. Okay. How much do you buy the house for? Yeah, no, I paid a, a lot more than five dollars for the house. <laughs> All right, well, call me, Shorty. All right, I'll call you, talk to you about it. If you want to fix the house, we work out some type of deal. I'll put you in charge. People are not going to mess with you like they do with me. You damn put a, put something in the bin, you know. I know you, you, you ain't going to get walked over like I'll get walked over. I'll, you know. So i talk to you about it. Maybe I'll sell you the house so we can be part, part owners on it or some shit, you know. I'll talk, I'll call and talk to you about it. Let me see what Rob, if Rob's serious about doing something with the property, but I don't think I can trust him to do shit with it, so. Oh, really? I'll probably, he probably like my only hope. I'll probably sit. I mean, I want to come back. At the same time, I'm scared, you know? Well, my car is running a lot cool now. All right, I think we fixed it. All right, well, I've got to get off here because we... What did it say? What is? I will help you with your house for you and your beautiful girlfriend. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I remember it. Wasn't she looking for stuff for her house? Yeah, she want to help me get out. She seems I asked you. They're probably the only one person I can fucking trust. With my house, that's how I, I always forget about that's who I should have. That's who I should have left my house with. None of these damn crazy lunatics I left my house to. You know, these freaking <laughs> she's know how to freaking run a house. She got two houses on my street, so you know what's up. She got two houses, you know how to damn run a house. You gotta come back while the weather is warm. Okay, well, I'll call, try to come back. I have to. I gotta take some self defense classes, folks. Or hire me a bodyguard. One of the two. No, we in Oregon right now. All right, will you grab that stick? Hey, grab this, yeah, grab that sure. stick and close the hood. Yeah, I miss deer. Deer was a great guard goat. He damn better than any pit bull. I tell you that. He saved my life so many times, people. Don't mess with me when you have a freaking 85 pound freaking goat with horns. <laughs> Alright, please like, subscribe, and share. Flowers. Beautiful.